Well, uh, situational awareness of uh, things that could possibly happen if they do score, uh, if they had to kick a field goal, uh, things like that. So, um, you know, I, was, I would say I was, I was prepared for whatever happened if they did kick a field goal um, and then we, we got the ball back or if they scored and we got the ball back. The time, uh, what that looks like with two timeouts that we had left. So going over situational awareness. What would you see Noah at that so tight and grabbing the back of that and what what emotions are coming upon you? Yeah, that's gratifying. Um, you know, I, I think the defense played their asses off throughout the whole night. You know, they gave us many opportunities offensively to go and put points on the board for our team so that we wouldn't be in the situation we were in uh, late in the game where it was ten to sixteen. A lot of a lot of things that need to be corrected offensively, obviously starts with me. Um, but you know we'll we'll take the win. We're we're ex extremely happy about that. And we'll go back to the drawing board. Um, you know when we come back in. But to to what you said, it you know a situation was was coming to mind as well when when Noah did get the interception uh, because we thought he was probably down at the half yard line. Maybe one yard line. I'm I'm not too sure. So, in that situation, we probably have to quarterback sneak or or do something like that to get out the, you know, get out of the end zone and just run the clock down. But they caught it a touchback, and so we were able to nail the ball. Well, so it was working so well early, uh, especially in the middle of the field. And then how did that kind of uh, close up as uh, as the game went on with what the Steelers were doing? Yeah, I, I think they made they made really good adjustments defensively, but they they were just little misses here and there that, that we had offensively. And, you know, a, a lot of the misses you know, could, have, could have turned into really big plays. So, um, you know, just better execution. And it starts with me, like I said. So when you finally you had the opportunity to meet with uh, Bob Greasy for the first time, what did you take away from the, from the most uh, from that experience? He's a cool guy. Uh, we just said, what's up? He just said, you know, are you going to ball out tonight? He said, that's the plan. Um, you know, we just had that kind of conversation back and forth, but really cool guy, uh, really awesome to, to kind of be around him and, and the other guys, you know, that's, it's, it's a great opportunity to be around a, a team, you know, and a group of guys like that in you know, undefeated season in the NFL. That's, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. It's hard to win games in the NFL. So, you know, it's, it's greatness that, that I was, I was able to shake their hands. So you said it felt good. What did, what did that, how, how did it feel getting out there, not having been out as long as you've missed it? Is there, are there any adjustments at this point in the season or because it's this point of the season you're, you know, you're just able to step back in there? Yeah, well, not being able to play two games does have an effect on, on uh, you know, on, on my performance in a way that I, you know, I haven't seen full speed uh, reps, you know, in, in practice where guys are coming to hit me, tackle me, um, you know, so kind of getting used to that and, you know, really just being able to help our old line out, trying to get the ball out faster, um, you know, trying to make quicker decisions for our guys, uh, just so the defensive line get, doesn't, you know, get comfortable with, with their rush patterns and, and kind of finding the spot of where, where I'm dropping at. Uh, so, yeah, there, there, there are some, some things that, you know, you you, you do kind of have to just see until you you know when you when you play the game, you know, you, you don't get some of the looks in practice. And you said that uh, some plays could have turned into big plays for them. Did you feel fortunate that there, there was some potential interceptions dropped? And, and you know, is that what you're talking about? You you need some of that too to win a game. Well, I wasn't talking about their defense. I was talking about our offense. Um, you know, miscues with ball placement. Um, you know, communication, you know, with, you know, a, a route that, you know, this receiver thought was this look and I thought was that look. Just miscommunications on our part with that, um, you know, and we, we just couldn't find our rhythm um, again. So yeah, that's something we'll, we'll have to work on. Tua, there was a play where you, you, had, you had two times that you, you lowered your shoulder and you were the aggressor there lowering the head. You said this week that was maybe something you might want to avoid in the moment. Is it just too hard not, not to go for it? Well, uh, situation, you know, I, I mean, I can see the first down, um, and I mean, to me, there were close calls where it's like, okay, maybe if I if I do just, you know, 
put my shoulder down. Hopefully, I could get forward progress with this. But that that was that was all it was. Um, I wasn't trying to be Superman or superhero out there. You know, I was just looking at the situation. The second one was a third down. Um, try to run and lower my shoulder, hope, hoping to to get through the guy um, to get the first down. So that's all it was. Do you think they'll have to float off for like an interact room at all on the field? Nope. Final question? Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. All right, so definitely plenty to figure out here in the coming weeks for Tua Tagovailoa, who in the first drive on script looked like world beater. Uh, seven points coming out of it on six of seven for 68 yards, through for the touchdown as well. Rest of the game, uh, just nine total points for his team, none in the second half. 15 of 28, a buck 93, and nothing to show in the touchdown nor interception portion of the box score, but that INT number could have been a whole lot higher if those Pittsburgh defenders could squeeze it. If hands or butts don't count, wins do, and the fish got one. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.